In this series of videos, we will be covering a step-by-step -step introduction to SOLIDWORKS CAM. This first video, I will walk you through the user interface of the CAM software. When you open up SOLIDWORKS, to add the CAM software into the user interface, you're going to use your add-ins selection under the drop-down beside your SOLIDWORKS options. So we're going to go into the add-ins, and inside the add-ins you'll see there's the SOLIDWORKS CAM 2018 option here. So we can turn the check mark on on the left-hand side that's going to add the software in right away, and the check mark on the right hand side will add this in every time you start up the software. So if you're constantly using SOLIDWORKS CAM software, you would want both of these checked off. We'll go ahead and press the OK button and then it'll add that software in. So if we look at the top in our command manager, we should now have a SOLIDWORKS CAM tab in the command manager tabs. This has every button that we will need for programming inside of SOLIDWORKS CAM. You'll also see that we have three new tabs inside of our design tree. The first one here is the SOLIDWORKS CAM feature tree. If you hover over the tabs, it'll actually show you what the title is of each of these tabs. So the first one here is the SOLIDWORKS CAM feature tree, which is going to hold all of our machinable features that we find on this part. So pockets or holes, part perimeter features, that kind of thing. Beside that is the SOLIDWORKS CAM operation tree, and this is going to hold all of our tool paths. So any tool path that we associate with those features into the feature tree, so if we're looking at a pocket, we could have a roughing and a finishing tool path, which might be a, a rough and then a contour tool path. And those will be listed under the operations tree. Then beside that is our SOLIDWORKS CAM tool tree. So this part is metric, so it's going to show us our metric tool crib that we've created inside of our software. We can obviously customize this tool crib to our liking, and we'll show you that in the next video. So once we've got all of these tabs added in, we're ready to start programming.